This video highlights some of the new and updated features of Brightspace Learning Environment 20.19.10. When evaluating an assignment submission, the user interface has been updated. The Next Student and Previous Student buttons above the submission and learner information have been replaced by forward and back chevrons that display in the immersive navigation bar. Several improvements have been made across Brightspace Learning Environment to provide a more consistent experience. Updates include interface control, language, and workflows. This feature implements PI items D3981, D615, D4016, and D1965. It also partially implements PI items D4055 and D1375. For more information, review the release notes. Microsoft Internet Explorer is approaching end of life status as a supported browser. To provide more visibility about this upcoming change, when an existing user logs in to Brightspace Learning Environment using Internet Explorer, a banner now informs the user about the approaching end-of-life date. Using the iOS Brightspace Portfolio app or Android Brightspace Portfolio app, you can log in to your own account using the My Device mode and capture work on behalf of learners enrolled in any of your courses. This feature implements PI item D4629. Brightspace Pulse now supports the Dutch language. Intelligent Agents now support attachments and embedded images. This feature implements PI item D5283. When creating a message, you are now able to upload files or select from available course files. Note. Attachment size is based on the email attachment size setting for your organization. The Links tool now requires newly created links to follow new validation rules. Only specific URL paths will be accepted. For a complete list of accepted paths, review the release notes. The Activities view in QuickEval is now compatible with screen reader technology. When evaluating a quiz submission, the user interface has been updated slightly. The Next Student and Previous Student buttons above the submission and learner information have been replaced by forward and back chevrons that display in the immersive navigation bar. Administrators can now control the ability to preview and grade in-progress quizzes using the Enter In-Progress Quiz as user permission. With this change, users marking quizzes no longer need to have impersonation permissions. Note: This permission is automatically set to on for any user that currently has Can Grade and Preview Quiz enabled for quizzes. For a refresher video on the recently released Activities View in QuickEval, follow the link in the video. And as always, don't forget to subscribe.